how to trust yourself. Today we are talking about self-trust. Hi guys, my name is Lena Semenek, I am a psychologist and this is my YouTube channel Psychology of Happiness. Welcome! Here I teach people just like you about self-esteem, self-love, relationships, money. I share my professional knowledge and my personal story so you can become happier, healthier and more successful in life. Subscribe to my channel right now so you won't miss my new videos. So let's talk about how to trust yourself. And the ability to trust yourself means that you have realistic expectations about yourself. You know your weak and strong sides and you know what you want and how to get there. We were raised with an idea that we should always listen to others. We listen to our parents, to our teachers, to our government and to our bosses. Often we are afraid to make decisions because we don't feel comfortable trusting our own gut. We question and doubt ourselves and are often more likely to follow other people's advice, fulfilling their needs and sacrificing our own. Because of that, we choose professions that don't satisfy us and we follow social standards and social expectations. Not that we follow other people's ideas, but as a result, we seek their approvals and recognition. We are trying to fulfill somebody else's dreams and achieve somebody else's goals. And this is how we lose the connection with our inner voice. We no longer know who we are or what we really want. We suppress our true emotions and feelings. We feel lonely because nobody understands us. And I have a different video which is called how to express our emotions. In this video, I teach about how emotions destroy not only us from inside, but also our relationships and the world around us. And they teach you how to express our emotions in a healthy way. I will leave the link in the video description and somewhere here on top, so please check uh, this video after watching this one. So when we follow other people's expectations, we feel lonely and we feel that nobody understands us. But the truth is that we no longer understand ourselves. We no longer trust ourselves and we are afraid even to admit it. Self-criticism and self-hate and negative self-talk are also proofs that you are not on your own side. You are not allowing yourself to be you. So let's be honest, it's time to admit that you owe yourself an apology. An apology for not supporting yourself in difficult situation. An apology for punishing and criticizing yourself. An apology for ignoring your true feelings and emotions. An apology for not allowing yourself to be you, to be true you and to make mistakes. So today I would like to share with you five real life tips that you can use to build self-trust. Before I share my first tip with you, I would like to say thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. If there is something interfering with your happiness or preventing you from achieving your goals, uh, for example, I had several periods in my life when I needed a professional help. I'm a psychologist, I'm a therapist and I do have my own therapist as well. Uh, talking to a professional to me is part of self-care. Uh, I brush my teeth every day, I go to gym three times a week and I talk to my therapist once a week. So I encourage you to do the same and check out the link below this video because BetterHelp will find a licensed therapist uh, for you and they will match you with a professional person that will help you to work on your situation. And you can start communicating within 48 hours. Uh, BetterHelp is not a crisis line, it is not self-help, it is professional counseling done securely online. 
and uh, the good thing that the service is available for clients worldwide you can log into your account anytime and send the message to a counselor plus you can schedule weekly video and phone sessions uh, it's more affordable than traditional offline counseling and financial aid is also available so i have a special offer for viewers of my channel psychology of happiness you can get 10 percent off your first month by visiting better help that's better h-e-l-p dot com slash psychology of happiness so how to trust yourself tip number one develop self-confidence every day little by little allow yourself to do one small thing that your inner voice tells you to do it can be as simple as to drink tea instead of coffee or maybe when you wake up you had a quick thought that you need five more minutes of sleep follow your inner voice and give yourself those five minutes of staying in bed during dinner time if your voice says you had enough listen to it and stop eating maybe just for two minutes acknowledge this inner voice the inner wisdom and be grateful for having the ability to take care of yourself how to trust yourself tip number two find and acknowledge things that you are good at and things that come easily to you we spoke about following others people's expectations and here i'm asking you to look at your own abilities and follow your own passion and your own desires usually things that we are good at come naturally and easily to us because they come naturally to us by doing them regularly your self-esteem will go up your confidence will go up and as a result your self-trust will go up maybe you're good at running or maybe you're good at cooking or maybe you're good at telling jokes or maybe you're good at decorating your house when you know uh, what you're good at when you know your natural abilities immediately you will feel that your fears and your anxiety decrease you can truly connect to yourself by admitting and doing things that you're good at things that you enjoy things that you like to do and things that bring makes you happy if you continue doing things that you struggle with or things that you hate or things that you're doing just because you follow somebody else's advice you will continue to criticize yourself and you will continue to feel that something is wrong with you that you're not good enough so let's do an exercise right now stop the video and write in the comments what are your strong qualities what are things that you're good at admit and acknowledge your power right here right now if you don't share people might never know about them so be brave and share it with the community of people who are just like you watching this video looking for emotional support for knowledge and uh, for understanding so stop the video right now and write in the comments what you're good at tip number three this is an extension of tip number two is to give yourself credit for your successes so be proud of yourself if you did something good do not ignore or minimize it ask yourself how many people that you know could have done it as good as you probably not many or perhaps no one can do it as good as you so when you are doing things that you are good at and things that give you joy even if you put some energy if you even if you put some time into it it won't feel like an effort it won't feel like a struggle it will feel like a fun achievement so step number four or tip number four how to trust yourself is to stop looking for a right answer unless you're doing math or physics there is no right or wrong answer life is not black and white every person is unique every situation is unique what is right for one person won't work for another person what is good for you for your parents for your friends might not work for you so 
focus on your own desires focus on your own rules create your own rules create your own rights not for your parents not for your friends not for your neighbors there is no right or wrong answer every answer has its time and place so the beauty of being different is that it gives us a great opportunity to share our ideas and to discuss them with others it gives us the ability to invite people into our lives and offer them our perspectives, giving them right to live their life differently. Every single person experiences this world in their own way. We have a variety of views and opinions. We are not machines, we are humans. We are unique pieces of one huge beautiful puzzle. And just imagine uh, if puzzles fought with each other, if they criticize each other or force each other to be the same. Identical puzzles and identical people could never create a beautiful picture, could never create a beautiful community. By being different, we complete each other. We are like puzzles who work together. We are worthy when we are unique. Let me know in the comments, what do you think about this tip? Do you agree or disagree with me? How easy is it for you to accept that everyone is actually right? And let's move on to the tip number five. Tip number five, how to trust yourself is to allow yourself to make mistakes. If a baby does not take the risk of taking their first step, they would never learn how to walk. If a baby does not make a thousand mistakes while learning how to hold the spoon and feed themselves, they will never be able to do it. We hate the idea of potential mistakes and potential failure. The truth is, if we don't take risks, we've already failed. If you don't try, you never succeed. You immediately fail. Taking risks actually means giving yourself an opportunity to succeed. Allowing yourself to make mistakes is one of the most important steps in building self-trust. Again, let me know in the comments what self-trust means to you. When was the last time you listened to your inner voice? I would like to finish this video by giving you a gift. If you would like to receive 7 free self-development webinars, 7 free guided meditations, and 7 free healing exercises that you can do at home when it's convenient for you, sign up with your email in the link below the video and I will send them to you right away. If this video was helpful, please like, subscribe and share. Share my video with your friends and family. It really motivates me to create more videos for you. Thank you for watching. Uh, check the links in the video description and I will see you soon. Bye.